Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Mark and Steve here in the studio, and we're doing a little bit more Frame.io magic this week. Steve has, I, I love what you're going to see, so check this out. All right. I can't tell you how happy I am with Frame.io as a product. It has gotten more mature, more features, and I've gotten to a point where I can't live without it. And you're going to see why in this particular episode. All right, okay. well, let's stop teasing. Okay. Here we have a project in Frame.io called St. Croix Select. It's basically some underwater footage I shot down in the Caribbean. And I exported a movie called Blue. This is a full movie. You can see I'm, I'm skimming over the top of it. And I'm going to just open it in the editor so you can see that I've taken the time to make comments on the video. And the comments are listed over here in sure. the sidebar. So, for example, I, if I click on this, well, actually, it's on black. Let me click on this one. The... Uh, Playhead will jump to that to marker, that to that yeah. comment. So it says, notice I put here, chapter two, the wall. So I am adding chapter markers right here in, in frame. frame okay. Right, exactly. And so I have another chapter marker here. And let's go ahead and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add one more chapter marker. So right about here, I'm going to add a comment. I'm going to call this chapter four, night dive. Hit return. Okay. You'll also notice that I've added some comments too. Like I've added a comment here that says add more color saturation. And then here, at this point, um, there you can see on the left side there's some some wings from the dome port that they shouldn't be there and they need to be cropped out. Right, right. So the normal type of thing you do in yes. doing reviewing video and sending comments back for the editor. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But now this is where it gets really cool and interesting. Okay, if I take my mouse over here next to the word six comments, there's a little arrow that says download comments. I click that button, check it out. Download for Final Cut Pro 10. Nice. So I go ahead and click that. Notice there it is blinking there and it's an XML file. So if I just click this, immediately it'll ask me, well, what library do you want to import? So it takes you right to import in the XML of all of those comments. That's right. So oh. I'm going to choose the library that's currently opened in the, the library pane and I'm just click choose. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, helper app. But notice the markers came in as a compound clip, and there's all my to-do markers right there. Okay. And, okay I'll, get, I'll get to that in a moment. Okay. 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 <laughs> what I want to do is first add this compound clip to the timeline because I need those markers that were marked in frame out to yeah. appear in the actual timeline I'm going to be doing the work in. At the same exact location. At the same exact location. Okay. So, so you go to the beginning of the project, the, yeah, I would select assume. The, exactly. Select yeah. the compound clip. Press Q. Okay, so it perfectly, notice it perfectly matches the length of my timeline. So the compound clip is a, is a, like a gap clip or something with the markers on it? Well, right now, it, if I go inside the compound clip, what it is, is the time code generator with uh, markers already there. I see. You can see in the viewer, it's got the time code and it, and look, you can read the, the, the comments right there at the top yep. of the viewer. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to back out of this and you, the thing is, you don't really need this compound clip. In fact, I recommend get, getting rid of it. It's just bulky. So I'll go up to a clip and I'll choose break apart clip items. And now I have just the time coded portion. I don't really even need this. So I'm going to select the time code, which was inside the compound clip. Right. That's what Frame.io placed there as a result of the XML. Right. So delete. Now, notice... But your markers remain, even though you deleted the compound clip. Yes, they I'm remain. Just, I was wondering. I thought they They're were going to delete They're still there. In fact, I want you to see this. How what, is that possible? When I, when I zoom in, I want you to see that really it's just a one-frame title clip. See, and it tells you there, chapter two, the oh. wall. And it placed a to-do marker right there at that one-frame okay. title clip. Title clip, or it looks kind of like a generator. It's like a generator. Okay. Yeah, it's probably a generator. It's a little one-frame thing. That's okay. right. Wow. So when you, when you go out and see your whole timeline fit to the window, you basically just see the markers. Right. Now, here's where it gets really fun, Mark. If I open the index and, let's see, go to tags and then go to all my markers, right? So there they are. I click yes. there. So these are all to-do markers. So for whatever reason, let's say, like, I can see these are chapter markers. They were they were commented that way in frame right. out, but these are maybe things that I wanted to do. Like it says, remove the dome, you know, I'm going to remove this. So I might, I might go into here and uh, scale this up. So I fixed it. So all I really need to do now is it's because it's a to-do marker. Right. All I need to do is double click, Actually double click. It. Yeah, right. go check it. Click completed. I'm done. And notice it turns green. Right. I, I actually hit two markers there, but let's assume I fixed both of these. Okay. okay. This is actually a chapter marker, which we'll get back to. 
in a moment. All of these red to-do markers, I want to turn into actual chapter markers that when you export, okay. they'll show up in the QuickTime movie as chapter markers. So any, every marker, every comment from Frame.io comes in as a to-do marker by default. By default. In okay. fact, uh, Travis, is my editor, has been wanting me to mention a Frame.io. If you could just give us an option in Frame.io to have that data come across as chapter, chapter markers. markers. Yeah. So yeah. Then, then that way they'll come across as, it's an option. So they're immediately right. as chapter, I don't have to go in and change them. Right. So I guess their thinking was most people will use those as to-do markers. That's right. Things to do, but this is a great workflow for creating chapter markers. In fact, let's, let's go ahead and change this. I'm going to double click on this marker and all I'm going to do is boom. Now it's a, a chapter, now marker. Now chapter marker. Double click on this one. Boom. Now it's a chapter marker. Chapter marker, done. And of course, this one was that night dive, remember? I, I, yes. I changed that, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that. I'm gonna say chapter marker, done. Okay? Yep. Now, something else that I have to point out that's amazing, I'm gonna zoom in. Sometimes you might be off on the chapter marker. Maybe that chapter marker is off a few frames. I really need the marker here. Now, if you use a standard marker in Final Cut, you'll know that you can't just you pick can't. this up and drag it. No, no, it's so you got to delete it and you make a new one. Gotta, right, yeah. but not so with this. I could just pick this whole thing up and move it and to move where I'm just moves the I marker. Love I love it. You can actually move your markers left or right. Nice, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's a workaround, but it's really it's a, cool. But it's a good workaround. It's really cool, yeah. So, so now, um, the, here's, here's one little gotcha. I, I'm not ready to export out yet, and I'll tell you why. Because this is a generator, like you said, if I export this out at the chapter marker, I'll get this little text flag at the top, right, and right. I may not want that. You, right. There's two ways of dealing with this. One would be to select the clip the and just disable it. Just yeah. disable it, and you could do that, and it yes. works. When you export it, it'll, it'll still export the chapter marker. Right, and just and, not the text. Right. Now, the problem with this, and a potential problem, is that what if you didn't get them all? If you missed one, if, yeah. What if you missed them? Yeah. So... There's a better option where you can select these. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. Let me park the playhead there and then zoom in. See, so they're all selected. Now, yes. if you hold down the shift key and drag downward, and the reason I'm holding the shift key is to constrain the movement so that I'm not changing where they appear. See what I'm saying? They so, won't move left or right at all. Right. I'm just moving straight right. down. Right. Now, here's, now notice they're below the Your primary storyline. Yeah. You just saw the problem because because now they're below the primary storyline. Yeah. There's no possible way that you'll get that you text if you forget to disable yeah. one. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. All right. So now, in terms of exporting, when you go to, uh, let's say, master file, one thing you're going to have to remember to do is you have to include, uh, have this check mark, include chapter, chapter markers. markers. Otherwise, sure. it's not going, going, going to it recognize them. So right. just so you can see... I have exported this movie out already, and notice I've already, there's, there's, your chapter there's, markers, there's my right chapter there. markers right there, using the exact method that I just demonstrated nice. in Final Cut Pro 10. Nice. So if you have somebody who's adding chapter markers in the video review process in Frame.io, the editor doesn't have to recreate all that work. You can just import the XML, and they're in the right location with the right text, and the editor still has the option of nudging them, or I assume of editing that text if they wanted to change the text as well. That I haven't, I don't know if the text I is burned that in there. Again, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure that I haven't tested, but I don't okay. care because I, myself, I'm going to turn off the text anyway. You, yeah, just chapter mark, right. Yeah, it only just verifies that's the chapter mark or that's the time, to, right. the time code. Right, it's right. really kind of a confidence check really to me. Okay, that makes so, sense. So anyway. Very nice. Cool. So another really interesting feature of Frame.io that is separate from the whole idea of just uploading video. I mean, it's a right. great new feature. Excellent. So hope you guys like that. RippleTraining.com is who we are. Tutorials and plugins about Final Cut Pro Motion. DaVinci Resolve is what we do. So please stick around. We'll see you next week here on MacBreak Studio.